Okay. Let me get my second screen rolling. This is going to be an awesome class. I'm going to get started just about 30 seconds prior to 11. This is a subject that I am absolutely passionate about. We talk a lot about video. I talk a lot about video. I've made thousands of videos and I have found more success on what we're going to talk about today that doesn't require all the equipment. It doesn't require being an, an, an edu educator and, a, and an entertainer and to be super funny and be uh, just outside of your box or create anything that's really crazy or intricate. It's just about being you. And I'm going to show you how it's going to allow you to connect, convert, communicate better than ever. It is going to transform your business as it did mine. And as it has for hundreds and thousands of other teams and individuals who have implemented what we're going to talk about today, using video for what it's really best at connecting, communicating better converting when it comes to leads and inbound cold leads and things like that that we're going to talk about today. So I'm super excited to have you here. And I am in. Dusty, welcome in and everyone else that's tuning in today about videos for emails. And again, um, this is really going to be a class about video being for relationships, not for marketing. There's plenty of videos out there talking about uh, or plenty of seminars, plenty of stages talking about video being used for marketing, and that has its place. But today, we're going to talk about creating a connection with the people that you've already done business with, you plan to do business with, and uh, people within your organization and outside your organization. So this is going to be really awesome. Let's get the slide started. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. So we're really going to talk about repersonalizing your business today. We're, we just came off of 2020. We've never been so socially distanced. Many people are feeling alone. Many people are feeling isolated. We have to actually distance ourselves from people. And this gave us the largest opportunity and the most fertile ground to be able to start using video to close in the gap of those missed connections, to be able to mimic the best form of communication and human interaction there's ever been, and that is face-to-face. -face. And nothing mimics that better than video. So today we're going to be talking about how to use that within your business. And I'm going to show you some ways to do it, give you some inspiration on how you can make this part of your business, how you can see how easy it can be to supplement what you're already doing and make it even more powerful, even more connecting. You're going to foster relationships. You're going to revive cold leads that just weren't responding. And maybe you'll have a little more information on why and how you can't blame them. This is going to be an awesome class. So stick around, stick to the end. There's going to be a lot of nuggets here. And I think that it's going to, because there's a lot to talk about more than I can fit in one hour. But today you should get inspired on what's possible with using video for its highest and best use. And that's creating and fostering relationships and connections and trust. You don't sell homes, you sell trust. And today I'm going to show you how to make that even easier. So I'm going to start out with one of my favorite quotes right now. And that is people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. And we get to take advantage of making people feel emotions. And as if you've been to any class for sales in the last 30 years, you know that people buy on emotion. And that's from the late, great, beautiful Miss Maya Angelou. Rest in power, Maya. But this really is about bringing the person, the best asset back into your business. And that is you. And I better keep track of the time too, uh, to make sure. Okay. Just, I, I want to make sure this is a purposeful class for an hour, but we really are going to bring back the best asset in your business. And that is you. And we're going to rehumanize, repersonalize, getting rid of some of the faceless digital communication that is so prevalent that over the last few years, we've just gotten used to sending out black and white text. Uh, and not differentiating ourselves from anybody, not showing our emotions, not taking advantage of a hundred thousand years of human evolution and interaction by seeing verbal and nonverbal cues. But we'll get to that. So I want to start off with this slide here and just have a side by side comparison so you can take a look at what I'm talking about visually right now. 
personal video really does accelerate sales. It really does improve customer experience and you build trust and rapport in relationships. The best way to do that is in person. And you can do that with video. Even before social distancing, we were getting used to just using this faceless digital communication. I'm going to hopefully by the end of this inspire you today that there's so much more that you are capable of right from your email inbox where, where, where clients prefer to be communicated with with their sales rep. And you're going to be able to step it up. And today I'm going to show you how. So let's look at these. I've got a preview of one of my bomb bomb video emails here on the left. Uh, where I'm not even using that the best. And I'm going to show you why, because I'm going to give you some power tips as we move forward. But right here, just looking at that, even without me using the power tip, which you'll find out about here shortly, home sale, home seller leads from Joe agent, subject line, copy. What email do you think is going to establish the better connection? Has the best potential of establishing a relationship and inspiring some action? You tell me the right side or the left side. Hopefully you agree that there's already some emotion. There's already some energy happening. You're already seeing somebody who's obviously energetic to talk to you, has a smile on. One of your best assets and accessories also with video is that smile. And there's very uh, long time reasons for that, including psychological reasons. And you know that I want to tell you something on the left and on the right. We're used to that. If we're communicating with people, they're used to seeing this. This is not something that's uncommon. And it's been that way for years. It's time to shake things up. It's time to introduce and rehumanize your business. Okay. So hopefully you all agree that the left side is going to inspire much more action than the right side and be more personal. I want to tell you my video story. I want to tell you why I'm sitting here telling you about video here today. Video has been one of the most impactful things in my life. Starting out in fifth grade, I created with my good friend, Christian Bennett, a futuristic city. It was mainly made out of paper towels and then uh, paper towel, the middle of them wrapped in foil and cars coming down. We made a futuristic city where there was like fish that would eat all the recyclables and we had renewable energies. And I borrowed my grandfather's camera. It was that big one that sits on your shoulder, has the VHS tapes in it. And I got a lot of attention. The, the superintendent came in and watched my video. Everyone was talking about this video that I made. And right then and there, I seen the power of what video can do, that people were connected to me through video and wanted to talk to me and also gave me privileges. I got to be the, uh, the school's videographer starting in fifth grade. Actually, my first time in fifth grade, I did get held back and had two fifth grades, but I also got to go to Camp Kern twice and kiss Stephanie Medina on my second one. So boom, how about that? Grandpa's camera. This thing was, again, that shoulder camera. This thing inspired me. because I don't know how much it cost back in the day, but it was big. It took VHS. It had a big metal case. And uh, Grandpa used to take some videos of me when I was younger, even younger than fifth grade. And I watched some of those videos and I was already liking the camera. I was fidgeting around. I was super hyper, but I was doing my ABCs and I was doing the camera from a very early age. Then skipping past fifth grade and well uh, into the future, I ended up getting my first smartphone, first video phone ever. And what did I record minutes after buying my first camera phone? A tornado right outside of the mall. I bought a Cincinnati Bell phone. It was a Sony Ericsson. It was my very first video camera phone. And I went out and was leaving the mall. And across the street was a tornado ripping apart one of our comedy clubs and a, uh, and a carpet warehouse. I was stunned, but I, I pulled out my phone and I took a video of the tornado and I eventually ran back into Sears. I was telling everybody, a tornado's coming, a tornado's coming. There was a guy looking at his watch. He was like, uh, buddy, I'm still on, on, on the clock. I can't get out of here because of the tornado. I'm <laughs> keep going. It ended up not coming, tor coming towards the mall, but it was an exciting moment. And I got to be on the news, uh, Channel 7 which I did numerous times and also saw the power of when people saw me on TV, see people saw videos of me. It, uh, it created a local celebrity type status because they would see me on TV. That's really cool. And now we can do that on a broad scale on the internet, but moving forward, then I got my first real sales job working for Jeff Schmidt Chevrolet in Fairborn, Ohio. And there was a very, very charismatic sales manager who was a local celebrity himself that put out all the, the commercials for this particular dealership. And I'd see people come in that didn't know Steve that ended up 
acting as if they did. He had, he'd created a warm market in his local area because he was the guy on TV and bringing people in. Again, I saw the power of what video could do in creating relationships, warming up cold audiences, creating a local celebrity type status, connecting with people. And it was really, really cool to see that. I ended up being in a Super Bowl commercial with Steve and that was played in our local market during the Super Bowl. And all the conversations that got started after that, I saw again, continue the power of being on video and what emotion it could convey, how it could create relationships that weren't there already. People can meet you and feel that they knew you already, or at least wanted to talk to you. When I moved, fast forwarding even further, I moved to Florida in 2015 to get outside of my comfort zone. And I started making videos in a place I knew no one. I came down here to Florida and absolutely did not know anybody except for the people that I had moved in with. And I got with my mutual mortgage and I started making quick videos from my phone, inspirational stuff. You know, I hadn't got really deep into the mortgage industry yet. So I wasn't an expert, but I was doing what I did best. And that was just talking about uh, things that I cared about, motivation. I was giving Jim Rohn information. I was uh, just getting excited about having a new opportunity in a new land and trying to create an audience. I didn't know anybody. And that started showing how powerful it was too, because I'd go out to networking events. And this was a time when it wasn't saturated with video on the internet. There was not a whole lot of people, very few doing video at all in real estate or mortgages. So when I went out to networking events, people were like, Hey, I know you. And then people had a chance to know if they liked me or not already. And not everyone did. <laughs> and that's perfectly okay. Cause video is going to allow you to create an audience of people that do like you do want to hear your message, do want to do business with you. So I was able to get known and create a massive network here in Florida. And a large part of that, a very large part of that was using video to create relationships, not just for marketing, but creating relationships. Then in 2018, while I was still a mortgage loan officer, I was recognized by bombbomb.com as a top five mortgage influ video influencer in the country. I had sent out hundreds and hundreds of videos to clients, not social videos, but the videos we're about to talk about here through the rest of this presentation relationship videos, delivering information, delivering empathy, inspiring action, giving them bad news that they were unqualified and showing them how to get qualified while displaying empathy, sending videos behind the scenes, connecting and fostering relationships. That's where I saw the most power. You don't have to worry about on this presentation, making elaborate videos for your social media. You don't have to worry about large amounts of equipment or money or time and effort. You can do this quickly. You can do it with just being you. You can do it with just what you already have. And we'll talk more about that. So I've created thousands of videos and, uh, and created massive income, produced a lot of relationships. Most of the 25,000, a large portion of the 25,000 agents of Tampa Bay at least have heard my name before or know me or feel like they know me through my videos. And uh, also I've helped agents. I've helped agents and loan officers to be able to go like the agent you're about to see for about 25 seconds who went from 500,000 in production to over 5 million in under a year. And a large portion of that was using some of the tactics that I had taught out into the real estate community about using video. So let's look at that. I love it. I love it. That really makes me happy because I know the power of using video for relationships. And that was, that's what we're talking about today. Video for relationships, not marketing. As Gary Vee said in the opening of his book, The Thank You Economy, no relationship should be taken for granted. When most people think of video in a business context, they think of scripts, lighting, casting, equipment, editing, post-production, and other Polishing touches that require a significant investment of time and money. You know what I'm talking about. We call this marketing through video, traditional video that's created in the style of a television commercial or an ad or a trailer. And this is a perfectly good way. I've been promoting this way for a long time. I've created many videos just like this. It's a useful way to create attention on your, on your business. Excuse me. Videos with a long shelf life, a wide audience, a high profile can provide a return on that investment with a professional production 
Today, we find ourselves in a pay-to-play environment on social media, on Facebook, where we have to put ad dollars behind our videos if we want them to be seen by a wide and targeted audience. If you're trying to make your Facebook business page grow right now, you're seeing it's tough. You actually have to post two, three times a day. You've got to have engaging three-minute-plus three videos that Facebook is suggesting because they want to keep people on the platform. But typically, and you have to have a Facebook business page to use ads, you're going to need to pay to get a targeted audience seeing the content that you're making. You're not going to have to worry about that with this. The personal video revolution, it drops the gloss and polish and capitalizes on video for its communication value in a no fuss way. You smile, you hit record, and you talk to each person as if you're leaving a voicemail. You don't need a script for a voicemail, and you don't need any special equipment to say, thank you, nice to meet you, Here's an update, happy birthday, or any other message in this personal way. You need only what you already have, your smartphone or webcam, along with a message that's best delivered in a person personal way than in plain typed out text. You can see the difference in my next slide here. Um, look at this, marketing versus relationships. This is what you're going to need on your marketing budget, you're gonna need a camera, you're gonna need lighting, tungsten lighting, need LED lighting, soft boxes, you're gonna need a green screen, you're gonna need wireless uh, uh, microphones to be able to create those higher level productions and you're gonna need some money. You're gonna need a little bit of money there. Now look at the relationship side. You need what you've already got to, to create a better business, to be able to foster better relationships, to really get relational, you need some lighting. That might be just a desk lamp or some natural lighting coming in from your uh, your window or even like what I'm using now, a ring light that costs around $100. Your cell phone, which you already have, and your webcam, and maybe just very minimal, minimal amount of cash. Video puts you back into your communication in a way that accelerates sales and improves the customer experience. Guys, you're going to see a huge difference in 2021 if you take away from this and start implementing these personal, simple videos. It restores that missing face-to-face -face element like we're doing right now. But now you get face-to-face -face at scale, all through quick, simple messages with the webcam or your smartphone that you've always got with you. I know I've always got mine. Let's talk about video prospecting. Okay, move on to our next right here. Video prospecting, a powerful way of adding email messages. Not for marketing, but rather a video to create a powerful connection. And before we go over some of the ways that video prospecting is so powerful using email, let's discuss what plain text traditional email doesn't do. First thing is lost in translation. The thing about plain text email is it's easy for them to get misconstrued. And boy, did I get misconstrued a lot before I started implementing video email you're typing out this long thing maybe you maybe you've been you're 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 in files you've got all these calls coming in maybe you're frustrated maybe you're trying to convey something and it gets misconstrued maybe it's too long maybe there's spelling errors and uh when, when you read a text only email you read it in your voice not the senders so when you're sending something you're you're hearing your voice and putting it in but they're reading it in their voice uh, video prevents this by providing tonality and nonverbal cues. We've got to take 100,000 years of human evolution communicating with each other and take advantage of that with video, which mimics the number one form of communication and sales of all time, face-to-face -face like we're doing now. Email video keeps things clear. Video eliminates the chances of your messages getting lost in translation. They'll understand exactly what you mean by hearing the tone of your voice and seeing your facial expressions and other nonverbal cues. These are all the things that garner trust and build relationships. And like I said at the beginning, you're not selling homes, you're actually selling trust. I just heard Tom Ferry reiterate that yesterday on his social media. Uh, these relationships are what land you close deals, not clever sales pitches or elaborate videos, although they can help. And to make things even clearer, uh, your video messaging software will most likely have a screen feature, screen share feature that you can actually show them what you're explaining in real time. Traditional email is often lost in translation. Let's move on to building trust. This is so important. This is a, a large portion of what this whole presentation is about. If you want to truly make a connection and build a relationship, you want to use video. A plain text email cannot establish the to the recipient whether you are trustworthy or qualified to take care of their business. 
It doesn't establish that. Video email can. Once trust and rapport is established, the connection is too. Email can't hold a candle to how well video establishes trust by personalizing the interaction. Video builds psychological proximity between people, even in the absence of physical proximity. The closer we can get to other humans, the faster the track to trust. Therefore, creating a personal connection very early on in the sales process. Guys, we're distanced more than ever. Closing the gap with simple, personal, raw videos that don't require a lot other than hitting record, smiling, and sending off a message that's best delivered in a personal way. Next thing that video um, to regular traditional email doesn't do well is uh, there's no robots. All these emails, a lot of them are drip campaigns. They're automated. They're, they're sent out by bots. When making a cold outreach to, let's say, leads, you need to include video in your sales outreach. They don't know who you are, so you can't blame them for ignoring a plain text email. Using video during cold outreach shows them that there is an actual human trying to connect with them, not another bot or an automated drip campaign which most of us, including me, are, are, are not really digging anymore. <laughs> it's hard to ignore a real human. Speaking of hot leads for just a moment, hot leads, that sounds good to, for today. If you have a hot lead, send them a video as soon as they request more info. It puts a face to the name, cultivating that trust we've been speaking about early on in the relationship. And last but not least, and there's, there's more, but these are the main ones. You're going to save time. Your inbound sales prospect and emails will get people excited to talk and in turn book a meeting. And that leads us into saving time. You can save even more time with pre recorded video emails. They will automatically send to inbound leads. Getting in touch with a prospect is hard, but setting an appointment is even harder. You're dealing with packed schedules and busy people. Get rid of the back and forth appointment setting process by sending a video instead. A simple appointment setting video allows you to share more value and truly connect with them on a one-to-one -one level. This is what convinces them to set appointment with you in the first place. Let's move on to the next slide and we're gonna talk more about video prospecting. Oh no, I'm running out of my delicious Dunkin' Donuts. We're gonna talk about a lot of reasons that using video email is gonna be of a huge advantage to you. There's a lot of great reasons to bring personalized video, one-to-one -one video into your business and into your email inbox. But what about what not to use on video email? And the main thing you need to remember is quick replies. If there's a quick reply needed, you don't need video. Video does so much and it can be used for so many situations that require a personal touch and a better connection. But when you have to do quick replies, when you're replying back to appointment questions, if there's yes or no questions or any simple reply, you do not need video. So I'm, I'm going to stress that you don't need videos for these simple things. Video doesn't always say it better. For lightweight transactional messages, a text or email, it makes more sense. Hiding a one-liner like, are we still on for 4 p.m.? Or how is that project coming along? Or don't forget to invite Jennifer behind the play button. If you hide all that behind a play button inside an eight second video, that isn't an improvement. On the other hand, most three to five paragraph emails that I know you've seen plenty of can be captured, shared and, and understood better in a plain spoken video, understood better, not misconstrued, doesn't need 15 emails. The message was received for short and simple messages, default to typed out text, unless there's an emotional, appreciative or social aspect to it that's difficult to capture in writing. So that's our when not to, okay? And a, a final note on when not to send a video. When you send a lot of videos as you're communicating with people inside and outside your organization, mix it up. Send some plain text, send some video, send some stylized and graphically rich emails, send some simple stripped down emails. As effective of a medium as video is for communication, connection, and conversion, over-reliance and overused diminishes its returns. The video personalized it diversifies your touches, even if ardent, you know, even most of us ardent, I don't want to say, I'm trying to use big fancy words, ardent pract practitioners know it's just one part of a healthy mix. It's one part of a healthy mix. It's very healthy to start using video. And I hope that we're all focused on health this year. Now let's get back to why we need the power of video. So we went over what we don't need. We're going to go over some best practices here and get into the sales prospecting side of things before we move on to some other ways you can use powerfully video emails. Let's check and see if there's any questions. Okay. 
So sales teams all across the country, they're achieving massive success with video. You've seen it. You've watched it at Inman. You've seen it at the conferences. You've seen local teams in the area having success with video. There's much more success that can be happening behind the scenes, making real connections and not just getting likes. What, what, would, what would you like more? Would you like $10,000 in commission or would you like 10,000 likes? For me, I would like $10,000 in commission. Most salespeople are doing their prospecting via email. This makes sense because HubSpot also reported that eight out of 10 people prefer to communicate with sales agents this way. But however, there's also, it means that your prospecting emails probably look very similar to those of other competing real estate agents or sales reps in your area. So how do you reach prospects in the medium they prefer, which we just found out is email, but also while standing out? by using video in your sales prospecting emails. It's as simple as that. We know it works. In just one case study that I took from bombbomb.com, they conducted with an enterprise sales team. They saw a 56% increase in replies to cold emails with video. How many of those leads that you got that have gone cold can be revived through bringing a human into the equation instead of some of the plain text that just isn't inspiring them to connect with you? Another sales team set an objective to garner a 25% response rate and build a pi pipeline of a quarter million dollars. Within their first 30 days of using video, they surpassed that and achieved a 70% rate and a, and a bill of 1.2 million pipeline in a single month by utilizing video. So there's a lot of testimonials. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of re reviews of using video. There's a lot of testimonials where people all across the country have had massive success. They've connected with more people. They revived more leads. They've converted more leads. They've got more clicks. And here's six best practices that we're going to talk about with video prospecting. And we're going to start off at the top. Include a strong email subject line. This is really one of the things other than your thumbnail that we're going to talk about that really entices people to want to play your video. They have to, they actually have to get in the email to be able to play your video. So having a strong email subject line, if you want your videos played, people need to open your emails in the first place. Put thought into crafting the perfect subject line, one that garners curiosity and elicits someone to click on your email and boost your open rate. An example of this is an opportunity you don't want to miss, dot, dot, dot. That's a good subject line. That would make me curious and want to get in there. And be sure to test different subject lines continuously to ensure that you're using ones that best work for you and your team. The second thing we have is use the EVA framework. This is very important. You're going to remember this framework for more than just your personal videos that you're sending out. If you want to create videos that elicit replies, they need to follow the EVA framework. Number one, empathy, value, and action. Empathy, you need you get to know your prospects, understand their pain points, emphasize with what they're going through. No, I'm sorry, empathize with what they're going through so you can work with them on a solution. You create solutions. You fix problems out there. That's what you do. So you're going to empathize with those problems. You're going to empathize with the person and understand what their needs really are. Then you're going to provide value and provide value in your sales prospecting videos. Ask your prospects how you can help them. Then you can deliver solutions to the challenges they are facing. Third is action, our A. You include a clear call to action in your video. What action do you want them to take? It's likely to schedule a time to meet with you since we're talking about prospecting. So tell them that and reiterate it a couple times so that they are more inclined to do it. Number three, we could create an entire series just on this because a lot of us are reluctant to do video because we are a perfectionist, because we're wondering what other people are thinking about us. We need to embrace imperfection. This definitely could be its own class, and I probably will make one. We need to keep things simple. Don't worry about making an elaborate video with scripts, green screens, etc. You don't need to be a YouTube star to see sales success with video. All you need to create a great prospecting video is a webcam and you. That's what you need. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it and keep going. This is what keeps your video messages real and makes you relatable to everyone else. You don't need to keep recording multiple takes to get it right. In fact, it's best to just shoot video and send it without watching it. Make the video, talk as if you would leave a voicemail, which you don't need any scripts for, you've never needed help with. You send a voicemail. You don't sit there and listen to the voicemail before you send it. You let it go. Do the same thing with these personal videos. Also, don't rely on reading word for word from a script. Be yourself. 
be authentic, show the world who you are. You are worthy of that. Get attention. Moving on to the next thing is uh, get attention with an animated preview, a GIF, GIF, or video thumbnail. Many video email platforms will display your video as a thumbnail or animated preview within your email. This is powerful, guys. That means that uh, these are really instrumental in enticing your prospects to click play and increase your response rate. So here's that power tip I was talking about earlier. You're going to maximize the potential of your animated preview or video thumbnail by making it exciting, personalized, or unexpected. The best thing you can do. And man, I forgot my whiteboard, but you've seen a whiteboard before. <laughs> You're going to use a whiteboard with your prospect's name or company logo and display alongside your smiling face. You're going to do, hey, John, Hey, John, watch this video on your whiteboard. That's going to let them know through that animated preview that it is for them. It's not automated. It's not from a bot. This isn't going out to everybody. Um, and then we're moving on. So that's your power tip. Get a whiteboard on that video preview. Let them see that this video is for them. It'll just skyrocket your open rates and video plays. Now, the next one is know when to send personal video versus pre recorded videos. Whenever possible, send personal video. It's best to record and send personal one-to-one -one videos to prospects 99% of the time. However, if that's not scalable for you, then focus on creating personal videos for the top 20 prospects that you were targeting. You can record evergreen, we've heard this term, prospecting videos with no specific re recipient name. So you don't have to use their name um, and to send to all your potential customers. So you can pick your top 20 and send personalized videos to them. If you've got a large database and you've got to get content, you know the power of using video. Some of it's going to be pre-recorded and sent out. And then your top 20, you're going to connect with them on a one-to-one -one basis. And by the end of this, you're going to see why and how powerful it is. And um, we can discuss evergreen videos on another time and another mega marketing. Number six, analytics. Keep track of your video analytics for follow-ups. It's likely that if you're using a video email tool, it has tracking capabilities for email opens and clicks as well as video plays. If that's the case, use them to your advantage. When someone plays your video, follow up with them. Give them a call or send them another video. The analytics are huge. Like BombBomb, Bomb, when I use that, I'm able to set when they open the email I can see when they play the video. This lets me know, are they a midnight person? Are they a 9 a.m. person? Are they noon? And when when can I follow up with them best? Hey, I'm going to give them a call when they're after they're watching my video. Give it a second. Call them. Hey, I was just thinking about you. I was just watching your video. Oh, really? No way. Talking about analytics, going into social media for just a second. If you guys have not used Facebook Creator Studio, you've got to get to know it. If you're using your Facebook business page, on the left side, you'll see Creator Studio. Or you can go to Facebook.com forward slash creator studio. And within there, you can schedule posts for both IG and Facebook. No third party apps needed, but also analytics will be there. Meaning that the videos that you do put out, you're going to see analytics. It's going to analyze who's watching, what the demographics are, how long did they watch? You'll be able to look at those videos and see which one should I make more of? Which one should I double down on? Which one could I use again because it had great success or maybe put more ad dollars behind? But the analytics coming back to video email is really about when my video is clicked and played so that I can better follow up. As salespeople, we can really use that analytic, that information that my potential client, that cold lead just watched my video that I personally sent to them. It's time to follow up. And if anybody wants uh, six sales follow-up email templates that get replies, reach out to me and I'll send you that link via email. Okay powerful ways to use video email. Okay, here we go. We're going to start off with one of the most powerful, and that is follow-up, a quick follow-up. If you sit, we just talked about prospecting. Hopefully you've already set the appointment and you've had a great appointment. Send a follow-up video email after you successfully held an appointment. Oh my God, you don't even know how powerful this is. Uh, after you've had an appointment with the new contact as one of the easiest, it's probably one of the easiest and best videos you can send. You already know all the details about the person you've met with. You know their pain points, their business goals. You might even know some personal details like the children's names. Okay, so you can follow up with them and say, hey, it was really great meeting with you. Understanding your goals and wanting to own a home in the next six months. It was great uh, to see little Johnny and Jane there. They are full of energy and I know they're going to love it when we find that home that's got that big backyard that you're looking for and the pool. You're going to create memories. I cannot wait 
to uh, I'm going to be in the MLS sending you information, whatever you might be, just a quick follow up afterwards, showing your face and excitement for meeting with them, reiterating some of the things that you had learned during the meeting is going to change the game. We could stop here and this alone could change uh, your results in your business. But let's move on. We're going to talk slightly about social media just with this LinkedIn. It's going to tie into using it within video email too. But if you're using LinkedIn, you're using it wrong. I guarantee you, you're using it wrong. People want personalization and customization in their LinkedIn inbox. They don't want hard pictures, uh, hard um, pitches as soon as they accept a connection request. I hate it. I just delete everything that's in my LinkedIn inbox because it's so canned. It's so everything. It's so like everybody else. It's just pitches and pitches and pitches. Send a video connect with someone personally, look at their profile, learn some things about them, read one of their blogs, do something and then make a connection and say, hey, it was great connecting with you on LinkedIn. I just wanted to send a personal message out to you, John, because I know that this LinkedIn, although a great opportunity to connect, it's kind of saturated with a lot of canned messages. And I wanted to connect with you personally. So thanks for the connection. I look forward to connecting with you more. And I'm going to send you over an email. If you have their email address, this is the opportunity to jump back in and continue the conversation on that one-to-one -one level. So use LinkedIn if you want to use it powerfully. And it's one of the best, most organic social media that you can get into right now. TikTok and LinkedIn have great organic reach. Facebook, no. Instagram, no. Snapchat, no. Twitter, no. LinkedIn and TikTok have the best ability to create an organic market right now, and you need to stand out. So moving on, just checking in. Let's see, okay, just checking in. Um, the, this is huge. According to Market Donut, 44% uh, of salespeople don't give up. I'm sorry, they do give up. They give up after one rejection. <laughs> but if your team did all the right steps in order to qualify the lead, and they know your company and team can bring them a ton of value. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try to reestablish a connection later. Video is a great way to do that. For example, six month check in after making a call, leaving a voicemail, send a video and put a face to the name. They probably have forgot about you. Most likely be sincere and elaborate on the fact that, you know, your company can help them. Your team can help them with the goals that they have. Remind them of that and check in with a video, reestablish that human connection. The next one, and we use the fireworks on this one, Fizbo's. These are hard to get right now. Uh, for sale by owners are realizing that this is a hot market and they're thinking that they've got it all figured out. I'm just going to sell it myself. The for sale by owner market is a great place to start generating leads in real estate. We all know that. These people are interested in selling their homes. They're most likely unprepared for all the steps it takes to do it themselves. Reaching out to these leads as a resource through simple video is a great way to establish a relationship and help them realize you can assist them throughout this super challenging process. Um, actually, I want to I want to show you something. Do, 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 do. Let me show you something here. Hey, everybody, I'm full screen now. So I want to show you a video of just that. Let's see. Okay. 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 So moving back along, there we are. I almost lost myself there for a minute. Okay. So we're going to get back into, uh, back into our presentation here. Okay. So, oh, we got go, to get, get caught back up here. So Fizbo's, I just want to show you a great video. <laughs> there was a little lag there, but I want to show you a great video of someone following up with a Fizbo and what that kind of looks like. So uh, time is money. Reaching out to a for sale by owner listing. 
owner that you originally communicated with after realizing a home is still on the market, this could really could be perfect timing on your part because you could speak to a pain point at that time and explain how you could fix it by being friendly and helpful and offer to answer questions and provide value. Next thing is walkthrough videos. Obviously, there will be a time or circumstance where clients can't make it to the open house. They can't make it to the events. They live far away and want to see a listing before an official showing or just want to see the house you're selling virtually. A home walkthrough video is a perfect option in the situation. You'll be able to show them a home just like you would in person on camera. A lot of you are probably already doing this, but you can send home of the week home walkthrough videos to your database or to your client or your database regularly. This can be a bit more edited, but yours doesn't have to be. You can use things such as BombBomb's mobile app feature. And I'm talking a lot about BombBomb because it really is the best video email client that I've used over the years. And I'll tell you some ways here in a moment how to use them for free, what options are out there, and then suggest to you that you use BombBomb because it's really great. So BombBomb mobile app, it features, it allows you to pause your video while you're recording and flip your camera. So you, uh, your recipient can see you describing the video at the beginning, and then you can transition over to showing them the house. You could show every inch of the house and your buyer can really envision themselves living there. Video is huge for that. Now, reviews on Google. Review videos can be a very strong way to encourage people to leave reviews for you. Uh, according to Bright Local, 91% of people regularly or occasionally read online reviews and 85% trust online reviews as much as personal recommendations. Isn't that wild? With those statistics, it's imperative for businesses to encourage and equip their customers to leave them positive online reviews. This is where you can utilize evergreen videos to ask clients to create either a text or video review or an online review if your industry has compliance issues with video testimonials. You're able to show how important this review is to your business and how grateful you would be if a former client submitted one. You're also able to get very specific with your instructions on how to create a video testimonial and guide them, which is, uh, with, with, which is gonna be far more engaging and convincing. So here's an example of a team I assisted with creating a video that can encourage reviews and express the importance while guiding them along the way. It's one minute and you don't need the fancy titles or screen graphics, just a sincere, grateful message uh, with a smile. Let's check that out. Hi, this is Pete with the Ready Group with Kevin Williams. Hey, Pete. Thank you for taking the time to leave a review on our page. We really appreciate it. Both of our Google and Zillow partners really protect the authenticity of the reviews. So here are three things to kind of keep an eye on while you're leaving the review to make sure it works as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Um, the first thing is to be specific about your role in the transaction in the review. Where are you selling your home? Are you buying a home? Are you refinancing? Being specific. So he's showing you the options. He's guiding them right now. The second thing they kind of include is to mention who you worked with on the team. Did you work with one of our buyer's agents? Did you work with the seller's agent? Including specifics like first names and who you worked with. Again, just specifics. This is great. As soon as possible. The last thing to keep an eye on is your email. Both sites are going to do a great job of notifying you immediately after you submit the review. If there's something they want clarification on or if they have any other questions. If you have any other questions or you run into anything, don't hesitate. Give me a call. I'm here to help. And thank you again for taking the time to leave this review. See, now you see how powerful that can be with him guiding. He let them know that there was going to be additional things that would happen after the review that they might have had to find, find out on their own. He invited them as a call to action to get a hold of him if there was anything that they needed. So the next thing we're going to talk about is recruiting. A lot of us are trying to expand our teams. Your recruiting video is going to help you tremendously. Let's use LinkedIn as an example. Six, 675 million members from across the globe utilizing LinkedIn platform. That's a huge pool of professionals that you can potentially recruit. But with that many users, there are also a ton of recruiters like you looking for a qualified candidate to be an agent on the team, um, You know, fill vacant positions at your company or your brokerage or whatnot. So how do you stand out? in the sea of recruiting plain text messages people are receiving on the platform every single day. You send a video instead to show you're genuinely interested in what they have to offer. Your company, what they have to offer, what your company has to offer to them as an employee, as well as uh, just the ins and outs of how they're gonna benefit from being a part of your team. On video, you get to emphasize a lot of the things that we've already mentioned. You get the chance to tell what your company is all about. You get to share details on the position and also explain why they might be a good fit for the job. 
this also shows the applicant or the potential new agent that they're not just another new agent. You have the opportunity to give them a full picture of, of what working for your team or company will provide them. So you can truly envision, they can truly envision themselves working there, just like the walkthroughs. They can truly envision themselves being in that home because of the visual and the walkthrough uh, and, and you tell them how it fits their needs. Next one, last but not least, and there is more, but these are just some of the ones that I can show you within this hour to get you all the information that I can about this exciting topic of using personalized video, how-to videos. Explaining things and answering questions for your customers is so much easier in person, but there are only so many hours in a day, as we all know, and meeting with every client needs needing support is not feasible. It might not even be feasible for your team members you have for that. Video, however, allows you to communicate with clients in person to offer clear guidance and assistance relating to your service. Uh, you can walk your clients through a variety of things, dot loop, signing a contract, even finding the way to your office. If you have a difficult office to locate, you can get on Google earth and do a screen share and show them how to get there or show not just the property, but show the amenities around the property by using Google earth and a screen share to show them your favorite restaurants in the area of the home they're looking at or the things they can look forward to and how close they are. You can show them instead of tell them you can, um, if you have, you know, again, I did use this to locate my office too. I showed them when I was on the 33rd floor of downtown how to actually get upstairs and to be able to use the uh, uh, the elevator, which was kind of difficult at this place. So I used the video and people got there just fine. Uh, you don't want to rely on your clients having an imagination. Don't leave it up to them. Just uh, tell your clients what to do. You don't you don't want to just do that and then hope they figure it out because sometimes they will not and they need you there. And a how to video can really, really help. You can show them how to do anything step by step with a screen recorder. This is how you keep your customers happy and you retain them because you're not just another support bot giving them automated responses or hopefully not an unresponsive team member. You can provide them with a truly customized customer experience, eliminating the constant back and forth and frustration of plain text emails, which leads me to if you're having any trouble coming up with what videos to get started with on any medium, whether that be social media, video messages, or video text messages, use FAQs, frequently asked questions, to have videos prepared to send out to clients who ask the same questions month after month, creating something for them ahead of time. This could be some of the videos that you store in your uh, online uh, email client like BombBomb Bomb, to be able to send out and have at the ready to send because you know you're going to be asked these questions over and over again. If you're new in the industry, ask some experienced agents, what are the frequently asked questions that they get and make content and make videos that you can send out on a broad scale uh, using that. Okay, so a couple other things, marketing updates, onboarding videos, Making a good impression is just as important for employees as it is for their new employees. Uh, and onboarding is a key piece of that. In fact, clickboarding reports that new employees are 69% more likely to remain with a company for at least three years if there is a structured onboarding process in place. And video is a more personal way to do this than a plain text and keeps lines of communication clear for a smooth onboarding experience and much, much more. But I want to get you started with using video email in your business today. So you want to record uh, personal videos. You've got some ideas about when to send them, who to send them to, and what to say. So how do you actually do it? Can you just record and send videos on your own? Do you need a paid subscription to a service? Should you send by email or Facebook Messenger or texting? Do, 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 do. So here are three ways. Here are three ways to send uh, video via email. Three ways to send video email here. So the first one is going to be the screenshot method, okay? So the first method is, is free-ish and requires you to record a video, upload a video, make a screenshot, capture a link, assign the link to the screenshot, then send the email. Uh, to send a video email, you must first record a video, of course, and host it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo. Uh, remember, don't forget this. We're making videos for relationships, not marketing. So we're going to bypass all the fancy equipment and go straight to the webcam for ease and speed. Record yourself with your webcam. Use the default, default program on your computer and take care to locate the camera lens like I'm speaking to you right now, which may be hard to see if it's set against black on the face of a smartphone, tablet, or laptop screen. But if you're not looking in lens, you're missing valuable eye contact 
eye contact is really important. Once you record a video, save it on your laptop or desktop, phone or your tablet in a folder. It could be on the desktop, could be in your camera roll or anywhere. From there, load it into a hosting platform. Like I said, YouTube or Vimeo being two of the most popular and make sure to label the YouTube video unlisted because it's a video for a specific audience or a person. It's not for display on your channel. Remember, we're talking about personal videos here. You're going to need to capture a frame of your video and create a screenshot. You can do that on the Mac by using com command shift three, then you can cut that out or uh, there's plenty of uh, snipping tools on Microsoft as well, where you can create a screenshot from the video that you did create. Because remember, that screenshot, that animated preview is going to be the first impression of your video. And if you're using a traditional email marketing platform like MailChimp or Emma, or if you're using a CRM or marketing uh, automation platform, go to the email composer and place that screenshot image into your mail design and then link that image to the video you uploaded to YouTube. If you're in your email inbox like Gmail or Outlook, you can do the same thing. Insert the screenshot image in your email body. Your inbox may or may not let you turn your image into a link. So you may only be able to type it in as a text link beneath the video and then say, hey, click here to play the video. Or similarly, uh, you can add the link however you can, then send your email. Uh, keep in mind, because you're linking to YouTube video and, and email, email open and a click on your screenshot or text link, that's going to send them over to YouTube. They won't be watching the video in the context of your email anymore. And after the video is completed, they are presented with an array of other videos, some of which may be your uh, competitors' videos. So we're going to talk as we move on. We're going to get into better ways of doing things. But the other one is a screenshot. Um, well, before we do that, let's do a little summary of the screenshot method. You need a video recorder. You need a place to host a video. You need to screenshot a video from a thumbnail. For a thumbnail, you may or may not be able to put the screenshot into your email. You may or may not be able to link a screenshot to the host video. You may need a paid service to do both of those successfully. Your recipient may not get a screenshot that links to your video. Your recipient will be taken away from your email, your call to action, and your contact information to watch the hosted video. So what's that saying is when they're clicking on that, it's going to take them away from the context of the email with the call to actions, with the extra information, and puts them in a position to see other videos and get distracted or see other competitors. We don't want that. But it can be a great option and it is free-ish to be able to link YouTube videos into your email. But there is better ways. But let's move on to way number two, and that's the mobile method. So this method is free because you record with your phone and you, you already own and you carry with you nearly wherever you go. So then you share it from that device. You open the camera on your smartphone, then record a video or select one from your camera roll. Once you got a video selected, tap the share or email function to send it by email. Your specific step-by-step -step may vary based on your phone's make, model, and operating system as well. This is a convenient method. It requires far fewer steps than the screenshot method, but its benefits are limited to you, the sender, not your recipient. And you don't get any open play or click tracking, which as we talked about earlier is huge with knowing those analytics, knowing when people played your video for that follow-up. Other pitfalls you might have happen is there's there's no smiling face in the email. You can't control the thumb image. Um, excuse me, bleh. You can't control the thumbnail image. Your recipient's email client has to be able to receive an attachment that large. You're probably going to shoot a video that's going to be above 25 megabytes. If your recipient, and on Android, when you're sending out a video that's not an iMessaging, the, the maximum is to be able to send, I think, one megabyte, uh, maybe five. I can't remember. But one thing you can do as a Samsung owner is to be able to go in and sign up for a, a, a Samsung account. And then you'll be able to send up to two gigs per day and to be able to send by sharing, uh, once you've signed up for a Samsung account, a full video that's going to give them full clarity of whatever that it is. And you can link that to them. So Samsung, make sure you get a Samsung account. Um, and if your recipient does get the attachment that you've sent, he or she has to download it in full to watch any of the video. And you don't get tracking on this and you can't be sure it was received. This one's subjective, but the fair attachment um, looks even more suspicious and less trustworthy than a proper video thumbnail image. So when you're just you're sending out a link, it might look a little suspect if it doesn't have any context to it. Um, and there's you want to when you send a video, you want to say, hey, there's a video I made for you up above. So after sending it, uh, use another text to say, hey, up above, I made it and created a video just for you. So it's not so suspect. I sent fifty dollars 
because I messed up on sending a holiday card out to a family member. We had this little white elephant uh, exchange uh, for cards and whatnot, and I didn't do it. I got caught up. So I sent the guy 50 bucks, and it's my uh, my wife's cousin's husband, and he deleted it because he thought it was suspect. I sent him a video. He didn't have my number saved. He just thought that it was just some random Yahoo, and I was sending him 50 bucks, so it looked like a scam. <laughs> he ended up getting the 50 bucks and appreciating it. Uh, let's move on to the method that I suggest, and that is, here's a, here's something you should know about Loom. Loom is going to be a free uh, account for you to be able to start using video messages today, to be able to save your videos, to be able to have call to actions, uh, to have a lot of the features that we've talked about. There are a lot of free features and paid features, uh, but it can get you started right away. Um, but my most recommended email video software and company is bombbomb.com. There's fewer steps that are required than any of the free methods. Uh, it integrates with thousands of different softwares out there, including your CRMs. It works directly in Gmail and Outlook. You've got screen share features and, and recording features easily embedded in your emails and Gmail and Outlook. It's got screen sharing features that hosts all of your videos. It's got customized branded video templates and more pre-made templates. They got great customer service, tons of resources and tutorials, podcasts, YouTube videos, and much, much more. You're going to be able to try it out for 14 days for free and use my link uh, to sign up. Message me. Find me on Facebook. Message me on Instagram. Uh, message me here when we're out in the lobby and let me know that you want that. I'm going to send you a link. I do have an affiliate link. I think I get a, a free Jelly of the Month Club if I sign anybody up, but you'll be able to try it out for 14 days for free. Uh, and then sign up through my link. I think you're really going to be enjoying this. Uh, this video email thing is a revolution and an evolution on your ability to communicate, connect, and convert using simple personal messages while bringing EVA, empathy, value, and encouraging action. We need to repersonalize our businesses. We need to repersonalize your communication and your business the foundation is late. The opportunity is clear. The time is now. Stop hiding behind plain typed out text and start getting face to face. Speaking of, now we'll go ahead and do that. We'll do that in a minute. We're going to get face to face in a minute when I say goodbye. So we got to get more face to face people more often. We're going to bring this into our business. I hope this encourages you to equip your team to do the same, to build trust relationships and success with greater speed and satisfaction. Add some video to your day to day communication starting today because we need and want to see you and because you're going to love the results. All right. So thank you for coming to the presentation today. Uh, let's get off screen share for just a moment. Stop sharing. So yes, everybody, I think that you're really going to be able to have some, some revelations in your business, some just greater ability to communicate, connect, and convert. There's so much more to talk about when it comes to video email. I gave you a good uh, 30,000 foot view of everything, but there's so much more. And I hopefully inspired you to start implementing today and how you can not so much worry about all the social media videos, which I encourage you to do, but these type of videos that are supplementing your emails are going to make a huge difference. And you'll see after you give it a try. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I'm very passionate about this subject, been doing it for years and be happy to guide you. So thanks for coming by this presentation. I'll see you on the next video. Oh, we got a couple questions before I leave. Sorry. Elena, how to add the icons on the bottom of your video? Well, uh, if you mean icons as far as adding graphics, that's going to be from editing software of all different types. Um, if you're going to do a lightly edited video on your mobile and you've used your mobile phone to create your video and you want to add icons, and I, I'm imagining by icons you're mentioning the graphics that come across on the screen. If you're talking about something else, please let me know. But uh, the greatest app that I've come across for mobile editing is Video Leap. It's amazing. It costs you $35 for the year. And you can add uh, your, your logos, you can add icons, you can add text, transitions, music, uh, a variety of things. Um, it's really, really great. So you're going to need some sort of editing software to be able to do that and to add any kind of icons or graphics. And that's a whole nother class too. And that's something that could be really beneficial. Uh, I, look, I look forward to doing another one of those classes, mobile video editing in the very near future. 
uh, talking for an hour, right on time too. Look at it, 11.58. That's what I'm talking about. I'm getting better at this. Anybody else have any questions while we're in here right now about video emails? Um, I could definitely sit in here. I don't know, uh, Dusty or or Sarah will have to tell me if we can go to my booth or something like that. But if we can answer some questions in here, uh, guys, I, I really know that you're going to benefit from you more than anything, more than any of the social media videos. I truly believe this because it's so saturated now and you have to pay to play here. As you found out, you can use simple and free video to make a human connection. What's worth more than that? Reviving your database, reviving your old connections, fostering them, cultivating them through video with real one to one. I hope you've seen that today. And Kelly, thank you for coming by. Uh, I'm glad you were here. I really are. And or I really am. <laughs> Any other questions? I would love to answer some more questions. Like I said, you're going to be able to find me on at, let me go ahead and put that in the comments here, at Ryan Loves Title. At the title company that I'm with, we definitely specialize in bringing this type of marketing partnership to our agents. Like that testimony you saw earlier, helping those go from 500,000 to 5 million by implementing great strategies that are outside of the box and that are personal. I am the uh, president of marketing and media for Milestone Title Services, and I help all my agents with these sort of things. And you can find me on Ryan Loves Title. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time behind the scenes sending personal videos and helping others. I'm going to get back to putting more content out there for you that's educational. So definitely follow me. I'll definitely put some things that are going to help you with your business as we move forward. You can find me on Facebook. My personal page is what I do the most on. You can find me at facebook.com forward slash Ryan Robert Owens. I don't know why I put my whole government name out there, but I did. And um, anybody else, you got any questions, you can put them in the comments right here. Do, 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 do. Well, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Garth, for being here. Uh, my bold graduate, 2016, Hala, uh, Elena, Kelly, Angie, Mindy, and Sarah. I appreciate you all for being here. If there's no more questions, uh, don't forget to take the poll. As Sarah said, next to the chat, I want you guys to use the poll because I want people to know if I did a good job or not. Did you enjoy me as a speaker? Was the info on stage, uh, was it helpful? Go to the poll section in between chat and people and let us know what you think. Holla, Garson in the building. Yeah, before you exit out of here, go to the poll. Let, let me know how you did. Don't worry, it won't hurt me if, I, if, if, if you didn't like the presentation. <laughs> so be honest, let us know. I wanna thank uh, uh, Florida Building Inspections, FBI Group for setting this up, My Clone Solutions and Brooke. Uh, and Sarah for all the help behind the scenes. It's been great to be part of Mega Marketing. Although we're socially distanced right now, our hearts are open. Uh, we're definitely um, excited. I'm excited to be here with all these other great marketing minds and giving you information that can help you with your business. And I hope today was very helpful with video email. I truly believe in this. I think it's more powerful than any other video mediums, including the social media posts and, and that other than ads created and targeted to a great audience. Uh, where you're trying to prospect and bring in new leads where you can start implementing videos once you've received those leads, because hopefully you've seen the power of that today. I think that one-to-one, -one, simple, raw, personal connected videos are the best thing going right now to use and implement video in your business. So fit it into the flow of your business. You're already sending out emails. You're going to be able to save time by using video email. I could go on and on about this, and there probably will be a part two at some point. But um, I still see some people in here, but no questions. <laughs> we just hanging out. Everybody, yeah, rock your body. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> All right, no more questions. I'm going to get out of here then. Okay, everybody have an awesome day. Thanks for being here.